what's up guys, Mark from Guitar Guides here today to give you a little demo of this Gervana phaser pedal. Alright, here's my raw guitar tone without the phaser on. So I got a nice distortion style tone on there. And what's kind of cool about this thing, I'm used to like the MXR Phase 90s, which only has one knob for your rate. This one actually has level, contour, rate, and depth. So quite a bit of options on here, which I kind of like because I do sometimes feel a little limited using the MXR phaser. So with all the knobs just straight in the middle, let's just fire it up and see what it sounds like. So real quick, I was able to dial in a nice sweet phaser. What I basically have punched in here is level all the way up, contour all the way up, depth all the way up, and rate. I just dialed that in at the tempo I wanted it to sweep back and forth. I'm not exactly sure what the contour does, but maybe it gives it a type of, a type of color, if you will. The level is uh, you know, how much of the effect you want inside, you know, mixed in with your um, guitar tone. The rate is the speed at which it goes up and down like that, and then the depth, you could choose how shallow, if you want it to be a narrow type of phase sweep. <laughs> which makes it much more subtle. A lot of time phaser kind of takes over. It's a little too crazy for a lot of people, but that's kind of nice. Dropping the depth down a little bit. This is my first time really playing with this pedal. So, so far I, I really like it. hear the, the depth of it when the depth knob is all the way up. It sweeps much further down and up. Let's crank the rate up and see what it sounds like with a real fast rate. Wow, it goes really fast. Super trippy and spacey. I kind of like that though. That could be cool for using for an effect sometimes, you know, just to bring a weird riff in. And of course, no phaser demo would be complete without playing Eruption. Eruption is one of my favorite, maybe my favorite thing ever played with a phaser. What I have on my Axe Effects is a setting that sounds exactly like Eruption. Let's go over to it. All right, so here's the eruption tone I have for my Axe Effects. Now let's cancel out the phaser from the Axe Effects and throw this phaser in. So there it is without the phaser. Let's throw this one on. Oh, 
house has those. Let's give this thing a try with some cleans. That's without it. This pedal's badass. It sounds really good. Lots of control. That's what I like. One of my favorite things about it. Construction. I'm gonna go with the not the best. Um, feels light. Doesn't have a very thick die cast body. If you got like a nice pedal board that you can mount it to, and it's not gonna get all messed up and thrown around all over the place, it's probably gonna be fine. But um, it's also got plastic jacks on the front too. So I'm used to mostly Boss pedals and MXR. Uh, what else do I use? I have a couple of their uh, pedals on my board as well, but most of those other brands, they used a metal jack, which I do like better, but um, these things are a lot more affordable. So that's one of the things about them is they're going to come with a little bit uh, more budget things in some of the places. But like I said, if, if you're not messing around with it and it's sitting on your board and it's secured, I don't think you're going to have a problem with this thing. It seems good. The, the pedal box doesn't seem flimsy enough that like um, stomping on it, you're gonna damage that. Has metal pots underneath the knobs, I can see. So I don't think you have a big problem with those breaking off either. So compared to like a Boss pedal on construction, I'd, I'd give it like a, maybe a six out of 10, whereas a Boss gets like a nine or a 10 out of 10. You could throw a Boss at like a moving car and n not worry about if your pedal's gonna be messed up. Um, I don't know if you, the same could be said for this, but the tone is really good and uh, it does look cool. It's metallic silver with orange logo. I mean, lots of controls, like I said. So it is a really cool pedal. It can be powered by nine volts or by plugging into a standard nine volt adapter, rubber feet on the bottom. You don't have to take the whole pedal apart to get to the, uh, oh, I can see the electronics now. They're potted, which means they poured like an epoxy all over the inside. So like components won't come loose. Interesting. Cool pedal, man. I like it a lot. I'll recommend it. Um, check out Gervana down in the description. I'll have a link to where you can get these things. And thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment down there. Let me know if you like this pedal or not, or if you'd go with the Phase 90 with the one knob or uh, the Boss Phase or whatever that thing's called. So I'll talk to you guys soon and rock on, my friends.